All right, so I've got a couple of things to show in this video. So first of all, um, my last video is I, sh I uh, introduced the real clash, um, which uses the clash strength, actually how hard you hit your saber, um, to not only pick the sounds that are going to be used, um, allowing you to really make the uh, clash strength and the clash impact um, sync up to your sounds, um, but also affect the effects. Um, so you'd have um, different size clashes. So you'd have a lighter clash would be a smaller area, and then a medium would be a larger area that dissipates, and then a really hard clash would be filling up almost the whole blade. And the sounds change based on how hard you're hitting your saber, giving you more realism in that. Um, so now I've applied that to our lockups, and what it's going to do now, so like this font, it only has four begin lockups and four end lockups. Um, but it's going to choose one through four based on how hard the clash is when you do the lockup. Um, and then on the effects, I actually have it so that the initial uh, begin lockup effect is going to be affected. So the size of the begin lockup, which is when you first clash, is also um, affected by how hard the clash is. Um, and then the end lockup is actually going to also react to that. Um, and that's also tied to battle mode, which I'm going to show in a minute. Um, so when I'm in lockup, I can do a lighter lockup, and it's a uh, quicker dissipate on the end, and it's a smaller initial impact area that then moves, and of course it's uh, going to be fully responsive, so. so it does react to your blade angle, but both the begin and end lockup sounds, as well as the begin and end lockup effects now, react to the uh, how hard the sabers hit, and then if we do a harder hit, we're going to get a much larger initial impact, um, and it's going to choose different sounds. And I can probably hit it a little harder than that. Yeah, that was a and you'll see the end lockup effect is also affected as well as the initial lockup. Now, the initial lockup is really fast. It's it's like 50, uh, was it 50 milliseconds? Um, so it's super fast, but the size of it is reacting to how hard the hit is. So, um, so taking the, the real clash and mi mixing that now with lockup um, gives you even more realism in those. Um, but on top of all of that, the final piece of the puzzle is that I've actually taken the clash strength and applied it to battle mode to create battle mode 2.0. So battle mode 2.0 is actually what I've been working on for a while. It's just all the pieces haven't been lined up. Um, but the idea is to get even more realistic. So. Um, there's going to be a few changes to battle mode. Most of them are improvements. The, a few of them, like even like the real clash and some of what I'm going to show now, um, actually gets enabled with define. So if you're perfectly happy with the current battle mode, um, we're just improving a couple little things and then everything else will stay the same. But if you want to take it another level, um, this is going to be what battle mode 2.0 can offer. So. The first thing is there's going to be a new define which allows you to set a uh, clash detection level. And what that means is for lighter hits, so I'm in battle mode because I did my gesture ignition, for lighter hits, you'll actually use clash effects. Um, and what this is, so when you're in battle mode, anytime the saber gets clashed, it's trying to do begin and end lockup. Um, and then depending on when you stabilize your blade, that's when you continue in lockup or do what essentially is a clash. So when you do a quick hit and pull back in, in regular battle mode, it's always going to start your begin lockup and then do your end lockup when you pull away. And if you do it in quick succession, that's your clash effect. But now for light hits, we can do our actual clash effects because we have the ability to measure the, how hard the, the clash is occurring. Um, and this will be something you'll want to play with. I'm still finding like the Goldilocks zone. But now you're going to have the ability to have some lighter clashes in battle mode, still do your clash effects. And it's using real clash, so it's choosing the sounds appropriately. But then if I go over whatever my, my uh, detection level is, it'll go into lockup. And then the lockup now is going to use the uh, real clash as well. So you get, or really hard. Um, and then you'll see all the effects relate to it. And then on top of that, I introduced a little while back the intensity lockup. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it. I'm going to try not to talk over everything. Um, so I'm going to do a, a lighter lockup, and you'll see, and it'll be a quicker one, and you'll see it'll be a smaller um, initial impact, 
lockup, which is responsive, and then the end lockup will be a little bit smaller, quicker dissipate, and then I'm going to do a really hard lockup. You'll see a much larger flesh, almost probably could even get the full blade depending on how hard I hit. Um, it'll go into, again, responsive lockup that'll move, but the longer I hold that lockup, so if you think about it, like if you really hit something hard, you get a bigger flash, but then if you hold against your opponent for longer, that energy starts to go and really build up. So the lockup effect in intensity lockup goes from being an audio flicker, which is still flickering, to a really intense ripple effect. Um, and then again, a bigger end lockup on that goes. So first will be the lighter one and quicker lockup, um, and then second will be the much harder one and the longer to allow the intensity to take over. And now this one will be a much harder one, and then I'll leave it on until I get that intensity lockup. And then that end lockup also sticks around longer, and it's also choosing the beginning end lockup sounds appropriately. So, um, so, and this is for both in battle mode and regular mode. Your lockups now, you can have the the clash impact function. You can have the the real clash sounds, and you can have, uh, and the real clash sounds choose based on how hard you hit, and then you can have intensity lockup to get, while you're doing the effect, even longer. So instead of just having simple old effects that always do the same thing now, we're really, really dialing in, so every little action on what you're doing on your saber, from the blade angle to how hard you're hitting to how long you leave it, um, is going to affect all of the effects and just make that really feel like these are real lightsabers. Um, so I'm going to show, just do it a couple more times, so a couple lights for clashes, this is all in battle mode, um, then a lighter lockup, and then a kind of medium lockup, and then a really hard lockup, and attempt not to talk over it again, because I seem to talk quite a bit, so here we go. So if you do harder clashes, even with that detection level, it's still going to try to do uh, lockup because you obviously want to get part of the reason for battle mode is to be able to lock up without buttons. So if you do a hard enough hit, it's going to go into the begin lockup. But just like regular battle mode, if you do it quickly, no matter how hard the hit is, quick hit and pull back, you're going to get your essentially your begin and lockup combined to create that uh, clash effect. And again, because it's using the real clash selection. Uh, even if it's a medium hit, you'll get a little bit different sound than if it's a really hard hit. So I'm going to do a couple battle mode clashes, but at the higher end, so that's a begin and lock up, um, so you can see it. So. so that was a hard one. And you can see, it's just a matter of hitting and pulling away really quickly. That's in battle mode creates your clashes. Um, so you really, all you got to do is hit and stay. You get your lock up, hit and pull away. You get your your clash, and again, it's going to react to how hard that clash is now happening. Um, so two other small improvements to battle mode for battle mode 2.0. Um, these are going to be just built into it. Um, now, one of them you can actually switch out if you want. Um, so one of the things that uh, that was in battle mode is the if you do a regular ignition. So and depending on what defines you use, but if you just do a regular ignition where battle mode's not active. Then if you want to go into battle mode, it used to be hold aux and swing. But if you hold aux and you do lockup with aux, now in my profile you could do holding power or aux to do lockup, but a lot of people like the aux for lockup. So what I've done is I've taken the swing out of it. So now it's just going to be uh, while your saber's on, you're just going to do a long hold on aux, no swing, and you're also um, you're not going to let go of the button until it says. Now mine's going to say a voice prompt um, provided by uh, Brian Connor again. Um, but you could make it a quote, you could make it a sound effect, you could make it a music prompt, um, just to let you know you're going in and out of battle mode. But I took the swing out of it. Now, if you really like the swing, I'll probably put a define in that you could re-enable that. Um, but just in usage, I think that just the button held works a little bit better. So that's going to be going forward for 2.0 will be just the button on. So I'm going to show. Battle mode. So now I'm in battle mode. 
but if I want to get out of battle mode, and this is also if you do a gesture ignition with battle mode, all you're going to do is do a long hold, and again, you don't really let go of the button until it says it or until it plays your sound. So these are separate sounds. You can set them up to be whatever you want, um, and it's in the documentation, but now we'll get out of battle mode. End battle mode. So we took the swing out of that, just so it's a little easier control because now you can do all your normal stuff. Um, and by making it the long button hold, it doesn't really interfere. Unless you're holding that aux, that aux button for the whole time before you go to do a lockup, um, that's more just getting used to the control. Um, and then the other piece, so let's go back into battle mode. Battle mode. So is I've improved the, uh, the drag. So um, in, it's still going to be a downward stab. So if you go downward stab while in battle mode, you're going to get your drag effect. But for certain setups, it seems, um, and I couldn't recreate it, but certain, maybe it's the orientation of the, the actual board, maybe it's having to do with the, how the pogo pins are absorbing it, but certain people had a little difficulty with the downward stab. So what I've done is it's going to be a really tight angle. If you're pointing straight down, you can just do a clash and get your drag. But I wanted to keep it so lockup still happens if you're facing down, because you could still block and lock up your saber while pointing down. Um, so it really is almost in the same position you would do for a stab, but um, because the clash threshold seems to be needing to be a little bit uh, lower for you to get the stab on certain sabers, I've made it so it just, it'll take clash. So if you were having a hard time with the stab for your drag, now you can just do pointing down and do a clash. But again, I made that angle probably within 10 degrees of straight up and down um, because I do like having the ability to have my clashes and my lockups happen low because it, you're going to want to be able to block and uh, you know do lockups down low um, depending on you know how you choreographing or what you're doing um, so that's that's the other change is just an improvement to make uh, drag a little bit easier for those sabers that were having a little bit of a hard time with it um, so I am still dialing everything in um, still finding that Goldilocks zone for when you're in battle mode there is going to be a define for clash detect um, and uh, again it just lets you have your light clashes do clash and then when you get over that you go back to regular um, again the idea of battle mode is no button so I wanted to give kind of using that new feature of the ability to actually detect the clash level, add that into battle mode to make battle mode 2.0, um, and just make it that much more realistic. This way, if you are just walking and something hits your saber, you're not going to get a lockup automatically. It's going to take certain hits to do it, but you're going to want to dial that in. So there is, it'll be in the write-up once I find the perfect zone, um, but essentially because it's detecting the level of clash, you're picking what value for clash you want clashes to occur versus lockups to occur while in battle mode. Um, so that'll be in the full write-up, but it's working pretty well. It's just a matter now of really playing with it and getting that fine, kind of finding that sweet spot where it does what you want when you want it um, based on how hard you're hitting. Because if you if you set it a little too high, you might not get lockups when you wanted them. If you set it a little too low, you might not get clashes when you want them. So there's going to be some trial and error in that finding that perfect spot, but um, that'll be there. The next step also tied to that is I'm going to add those to edit mode. So the, there'll be two settings tied to these new features. Those will be in the edit mode menu once I get this fixed. I just got to add that there. And then that's it for me from the development side. Um, and I'll be handing everything to Frederick probably, hopefully within this week, um, barring any setbacks. And then Frederick's going to review everything and then it's on him. Uh, he has a couple of things I know he's working on. But alpha testing should be in the not too far future. Um, so a lot more coming on that, but I know as soon as people see this video, they're going to ask me, but Battle Mode 2.0, the uh, real clash added to lockup. It's also added to stab. I didn't show stab, um, but stab will be the same way if you want, where you can have the stab sounds as well as the effect controlled by how hard you're doing the stab movement. Um, intensity lockup, all that other stuff is coming. Um, so lots of great stuff on the way, uh, but this is what I've been building towards, is, is making battle mode and making all our lockups and our clashes and all of our effects even more realistic, and it's it's finally coming to pass, so I'm super excited, can't wait for everybody to play with everything, so hope you enjoy.